Let's take a look at what's happening outside in our Hyundai Next weather sphere. It is a very lovely start to the day as the blimp goes by. You can see it's a, a beautiful sunrise this morning. It is quiet for now. Today is going to be breezy. It is going to be chilly, but as we go through the next couple of days, we're going to be looking at some big changes on the way. So let's get right into your forecast here. We're looking at some lake effect snow showers staying north of us this morning. You can really kind of see where those cold winds are coming from. It's a northwest wind and that will be with us all day. But most of these lake effect snow showers and streamers, as I like to call them, are staying north up across New York State. And while there could be a stray flurry or snow shower in the Poconos, most of us don't see anything at all. Zooming in again, nothing locally may pick up a stray flurry here or there, but there is a weak disturbance that's going to track across the region tomorrow and bring us the chance for some light snow or snow showers. So today's forecast, first and foremost, 40 degrees. It's a cold and sunny start. It is breezy. A few more clouds are going to start to billow in this afternoon and notice the winds are still quite strong. We don't have the wind advisory like yesterday, but still blustery enough to maybe knock down some of those decorations. If you still have them up, winds are 15 to 20 miles an hour sustained with gusts as high as 35 miles an hour today. Let's talk about tomorrow's system because today is quiet. You can see that blustery west wind with us all day long. A few more clouds in the afternoon and evening. Tomorrow, there is just this weak little impulse that comes in in the afternoon. So we start the day fine. Your morning commute looks dry, no problems there. Clouds are going to start to really increase by mid morning. This is about 10 a.m. And then you can see by the afternoon, right around 430, as the school buses are heading home, as people set to get set to uh, drive home for their evening commute, there will be this band of snow and snow showers that tries to set up shop quick hitting and temperatures at the surface are above freezing. So don't think this is really going to be able to accumulate too much, but could see some quick accumulations on grassy surfaces tomorrow afternoon that moves out and then cold air settles in over the weekend. It will be cold but sunny on Saturday. The high just 33 degrees Sunday for the Eagles game looks dry. Clouds will be increasing, but it should stay dry for the game and we're at 35 degrees. You will need the heavy coats out there. And then here's what we're watching for next week. So this is Sunday at 11 o'clock. You can see the time there. This is our next potential storm system. Now we are watching the models closely because there has been a pretty high degree of variation with the actual path of this system. Right now, this is what it's looking like. You can see where the center of the low is. It's right about here and it's going to be tracking to the south of us. That's good news if you want snow because we don't have precipitation type challenges. What I mean is the cold air is in place to the north of the system. So if the low stays off to our south, we have a good chance of seeing all snow from this. The problem is if it heads further south, the snow chances head further south as well. If this goes further north, way further north, you would be looking at some issues with sleet and rain mixing in. I don't think that's going to be as much of a concern. The question is, where does this low track? Because if it takes this path, this is the European model. This is Monday morning into Monday afternoon. You're looking at the chance for several inches of snow, especially from the city on south with lighter accumulations to the north but you pull this a little bit further south and your snow chances diminish rapidly. So something we're watching very closely. Good chance we will be issuing a next weather alert for Monday because of that system. But again, we want to see a few more runs of the models and kind of see what the trends are looking like before we make that call. Stay tuned. 32 degrees at kickoff for the Eagles game on Sunday. Backtracking just a bit. You can see how chilly it's going to be. The winds picking up as well. So your next seven days, well, it's going to be it's going to get even colder as we head into next week. There's that snow chance Monday. So snow showers tomorrow, better chance of snow on Monday, and then the cold really settles in. Look at Tuesday morning, 19 and highs barely above freezing for most of next week.